I started donating blood when I was 19 years of age. We lived on a farm and it was so important because we saw people have accidents that had to go to the hospital and need the blood. And I continued to give blood until I was told in 1988 that I had breast cancer. When I was told I had cancer, I did not cry. But when they told me I would not be able to donate blood, then I did cry. For Doris Bailey, giving blood was part of her life. Years later, a blood transfusion saved her life when she had bypass and valve replacement surgery. The blood came from CBCC. I was so thankful for the donors that had gave that I could live. And I'm living because of gifts from others. The Community Blood Center of the Carolinas was founded by 14 Charlotte area hospitals in 2002. Today, it contributes more than 90% of their blood supply. These are some of the patients in our 14 county region whose lives have depended on blood from CBCC. These patients are family, friends and neighbors, even children like Amanda Williams. Amanda was diagnosed with sickle cell disease. Um, I had an amniocentesis, so I was very educated about what sickle cell disease was. She had a stroke when she was four years old, and that stroke was very severe. Amanda needed regular blood transfusions after the stroke, and ultimately, a bone marrow transplant. The donor was her older sister, Amber. The procedure was a success, and Amanda's recovery has been remarkable. I am so elated that she's able to run, play, jump, skip. She has resumed all her regular activities. And now today we celebrate life for Amanda being sickle cell free. I am very grateful to the donors of the Community Blood Center sharing a part of themselves to give my child a second chance of life. The Community Blood Center of the Carolinas is a community blood supplier, not a national blood supplier. All the blood we collect stays here in the community to support local patient needs. Patients like Joe Clipston. As I was growing up, you kind of took life for granted. Oh, it's not gonna happen to me. Life can change in a heartbeat. In 2008, Joe had an urgent need for blood when doctors discovered he required a second kidney transplant. He received a kidney from his brother four years ago and unfortunately it failed. When he became very ill, as his health declined, he became severely anemic. It came down to where I needed some blood transfusions. And I've had six of them over the last six months. The blood's been very important. It helped bring back some of my energy to where I can play with the kids, be with my wife. It's meant a whole lot to us. Each time my husband received a unit of blood, he was getting another chance at life. The need for blood is ongoing. We use more blood products in our community in a week than has been required to treat victims of any single domestic disaster in more than a century, including Hurricane Katrina. Thousands of local donors give this precious gift, many on a regular basis. People like Jim Long are helping to meet our region's demand for blood. Back in 2005, we got involved with holding blood drives. And in order to do that, we partnered up with Unique Lighting Showplace and Ray Brothers so that all three companies could, you know, hold a drive. And we hold these every other month, so it equals out to about six times a year. And my son, Mike Long, he got involved uh, donating. About a year later, you know, he started his own blood drives with his company. And since that time, he's been able to get his daughter, Brittany, involved, you know, coming in also donating. And now we're working on our grandson, who's got about eight more years, but we're preparing him to start donating. So let's try to make it a family affair if we can. Blood binds the Long family together and ties them to their community in an extraordinary way. Blood is a gift of life. It goes a long way to help do something for them that may have saved their lives. And you know, and I think that's the most important part of it. Life can be beautiful, joyful, and abundant. It can also be fragile. 
A simple gift can often mean life for our family, friends, and neighbors, but it takes people like you who are willing to give this precious gift. It costs nothing, but for our patients, this gift is priceless. You cannot buy blood. Blood has to be a gift, and that makes it so much more important that people are willing to give. You never know if you are going to need it or a loved one. You never know whose life you might save. And Amanda's life was saved because of the blood that was donated from the Community Blood Center.